Greetings and salutations, everyone. The name is Invisible, the Non-Existent, hidden from your eyes through the shadows of your hearts. And this will be a very quick and brief video about my chosen paths for careers. I had an idea about the careers I'd like to follow when I was a kid. And then I changed my views as I grew up. The careers at first I wanted to try out went from being a physician, doctor, to a nurse, to an airplane pilot, to a car racer, to even an army soldier. Once even I thought about being a taxi driver, an Uber. I thought about being a barista or even a fast food employee. Then the more I grew up, the more I realized that I didn't want to work under anyone's authority at all. I'd rather work for myself as a freelance, which means I wanted to become one of the following nowadays after I finished my bachelor years. I wish to try my hands on being a novelist, a freelance fantasy writer that writes with my own style and my own type of subjects and ideology. And I thought about becoming a proofreader or a translator, since I love to learn new languages, new tongues, accents, and whatnot. I also thought about becoming what I'm doing at the moment right now, as in being a game streamer. And finally, I lost my personal decision making since when i asked about advices or suggestions i was told that working as an airplane pilot or an officer or maybe even a nurse wasn't worthwhile they didn't pay enough also it was not altogether good since airplane Pilots aren't paid enough, and they tend to travel a lot. And nowadays, I don't really enjoy traveling myself at all. I thought about being a police officer, but I'm not going to the police academy, because I was told about the corruption and the, the bad stuff about being a police officer, so it's not worth it. I thought about even being a taxi driver, since I thought they, are, they were the only ones who rode in cars because of my naivety back then. But my family told me that they will not have a single person becoming an Uber driver. I thought about becoming a car racer, but there's such a thing doesn't exist in the country where I'm at at the moment. I thought about becoming a physician. Medical school is too expensive and too lengthy for such a thing. I'm already in my middle ages. Um, I thought about being a teacher, but again, I am very much introverted and antisocial. I will not work fine with being a teacher, especially after all the disrespect I witnessed the teachers have to go through with the so-called students that are in fact demons. I thought about asking for suggestions what should I do for my life as a living thing. I was told to become an architect and to draw blueprints, design buildings, etc. The problem with being an architect is that you will be working with mathematics and physics, my most 
hated subjects in the living world. So I refused them completely immediately. I was told why not try working as a custom a customer service person. I again I remind you I'm an introvert. My social skills are very bad and my social anxiety makes it even worse than that. I was told why not become an ISO quality manager tester or maybe a team manager perhaps a project engineer I don't really know but all of these all of the jobs that require you to work with others in a confined space and under someone else's authority are not for me at all I have my own standards and my own principles I will not let someone else enforce their own ideology over myself I'm not that type of a person so then I thought to myself if I couldn't become a novelist novel writer since my relatives all of them told me that I live in a society that's illiterate we don't read text we only read comics if at all we listen to audiobooks but not normal just usual text besides the more i wrote text the more i saw that the people who draw comics or graphic novels were much more successful than myself I don't even know how to find myself as personal publisher and as a person I can't take criticism easily I thought about being a translator since I love to read and uh, study languages accents and history but looks like also being a translator is not a very good paying job either thought about uh, working as a proofreader but turned out also it's not a well-paying job looks like when you are working as a freelance you need to have some kind of a standard what the other side would expect from you to ask them in return for your work so with all my options completely diminished i went to the one thing that i knew how to do the best which is streaming from youtube i began and to wait i returned after i retired for four years almost and it's going from bad to worse all the time this tyrannical dictator that keeps censoring everything we say or do or what my channel is not monetized and I guarantee you 1 million percent that I will die and be in a grave and the world will end before this cursed site decides to monetize me at all so I will stop trying to get monetized anymore I will no longer pursue it otherwise I'll be pursuing the impossible its requirements are inhuman impossible and uh, they want you technically to get yourself 3000 public hours in a month 3000 hours in a month let me check quickly my calculator here if we have a month let's say if, uh, convert let's convert let's convert hours to months okay or rather hours to days i'm using currently the converter in uh, DuckDuckGo. we said three thousand 
3,000 hours non-stop equal to 125 days. Now let's convert this to months. 3,000 hours would make for you 4.10 months which means that they are expecting of you to record what is valued as technically five months in a single month yeah told you it's inhuman also throughout my 1.2 thousand videos i already broke through 1.5 thousand hours as is but since the videos I uh, since I stopped recording to get myself some mental break, the website stole from me my own public hours and lowered them from 1,000 to 500. Yeah, I am not gambling my life to an undeserving swine like YouTube. We're not business business partners. You're not money, uh, you're not giving me money for what I'm doing. So I am leaving permanently. And if you by now knows that, alternative options would be Rumble, that monetizes your videos. The moment you upload them, you only need to have a following and the viewers to get yourself the ad revenue, or you could try what the Bioshock Hub did. Go to Kick, and maybe you'll get them monetized there. You could use View.me. You could use Daily Motion. You could use Twitch, or maybe the Upload Society, or any other broadcasting service like BitChute. You could use any other website as long as they will not kick you in the face when you use them, like Google does here. So, if uh, live streaming will not work because of the ad revenue and because of the donations, even though you are a freelance, you are still enforced with what the public, what your viewers want to see you play. So, technically, they are your own bosses. What does that leave to me? If I can't publish my own novels, unless they were most likely audiobooks, in which case, it's highly possible that I'll be either overlooked by the more already pre-established books, or will be claimed by third-party nonsense because we already have learned by now the fact that anyone can claim copyright materials over everything because the entire system is completely broken from the design to the finish i thought about trying making trying to make an original comic on tapas or on deviant art since some people have made comics there mostly in text um, format but also has an illustration that explains the situation with it again tapas has so many works on it so the competition is not easy what I'm trying to say here is that I fear competition, I fear failure, and I fear the fact I'll need to fight others to gain my personal space if I want to be a comics maker, a mangaka. I already made for myself the first ever chapter for something original completely, and uh, when I reviewed it i didn't like what i saw which is normal so where does that leave us at 
I can't work in retail because my family would curse at me for choosing to go for, to retail. Technically, my family keeps restraining my choices. And that's the truth. I wouldn't mind being a driver, but again, I don't like driving cars that much. They give me motion sickness. I said I might end up doing my own um, army time. Uh, serving the flag time but I'm not sure since I was multiple times discouraged from going there and working in the army unless you would like to lose all of your freedom and all of your options completely thing is every time one thinks about becoming something a billion obstacles and walls jump to your face I thought about learning Linux instead of windows and maybe even becoming a hacker a cracker to be exact thought about why not learn how to break uh, de novo and start cracking games for myself but again this kind of stuff require a very big budget and prerequisites which i don't have either why not become a penetration tester as in, you become a social hacker. Again, it's not that easy for me. Becoming a hacker itself is a good IT um, challenge for a job, but I lack the education. I could self-teach myself, but the thing is, everyone wants for me to get them the bread on the table from the get-go. For those who aren't um, aware by now, I am a single person who's not interested in marriage at all. I will not get married at all. I will not bother myself with such a waste of time like that. Since the world around me is not encouraging that much. And that's why my options in career paths are rather open. I heard multiple times from ZPTV123 that uh, he works in paramedics. I don't have any experience in being a paramedic. I thought to myself I may would like to try it out. But again, my family stopped me because they said it's too dangerous. I believe by now you have realized that I have some type of hoodie of helicopter parents who need to engage themselves on everything I do and they wish to be the ones with the final word who does what or what career path I go through. So if we have real tale, no. Uh, law, no. Uh, police officers, no. Army, no. Car racer, no. Piloting, no. Novelist, proofreader, translator, even uh, even hotel rooms tester. When the hotels pay you to sleep in their own beds to test them out and how comfortable they are, your work is literally to sleep. And that supposedly doesn't pay good enough as a freelance. So what's next? Ice cream tester for an ice cream company? No. Okay, let's let's just put aside all the careers and jobs in this entire planet. Whether it was found in the east, west, south, north, or the other four alternate directions. We have seven continents, 195 countries or nations, and throughout them all, somehow, I am unable to find a job that suits me perfectly. So when I ask, what am I supposed to do if every time I give a suggestion, you will tell me no, it will not pay you good enough. I was again told to be either an office worker, an architect, use my own certificates that I gained, or be a customer service person, or just 
become something that includes being under a person. I believe highly right now that I am talking to people who aren't ready to listen at all. Since I gave you all the possibilities, I could start working comfortably in something that I wouldn't mind doing for the rest of my life. Even if I could become a librarian, I don't really mind it. I like books. I like silent and quiet places. I could become a historian, a myth, um, a mythology investigator, researcher. I could become an adventurer, as in a field journalist, a press worker. But again, as long as it's it has a life risk, I'm not allowed to do it. As long as it includes me getting out of the house to other countries i'm not allowed to do it so yeah i ended up simply doing the one thing that has no risk in life will stay at home at all times and technically has some potential but this potential will require for me to sacrifice my soul to satan which is to be a streamer which, as you can see by now, is not profitable, profitable either. Which is kind of ironic, since all the options I was given and I gave will not work with me this, this time, this way. So, yeah. I have no idea anymore what to do for a living anymore. Should I become a website developer even though I don't have any idea about how to become one? Should I become an AI researcher? Should I start using stable diffusion to sell my original AI generated art? Should I join up with uh, open AI and uh, get myself hired with uh, AI development and testing? Should I join a gaming a game developer's uh, office even though the crunch crime is still a thing i don't really know last time i was told that i didn't have what it took to draw good pictures or to write good novels i completely stopped i am a person who can't take criticism easily at all. I just can't. If someone were to roast me the correct way, I would shut down mentally completely, just like I am at the moment. Would I care about opening an aquarium and sell fish for people? Not really sure, really. Not sure. My family thought about opening a restaurant and make us work there as cashiers or waiters. My social skills are bad. They told me why not become a psychology a psychotherapist. Um, I, I asked them why shouldn't I become a therapist. They told me it doesn't pay well enough. Should I be should I go back to the bachelor? college and become an electrician no because it has a life risk okay 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 so i give you all kinds of so they may want me to open my own small uh kisk kisk and uh, sell in it stuff but i'm not a merchant thought about becoming uh, a barber but i am not educated in touching people's hair i'm not uh, interested in that thing so what about an accountant i hate math okay fine what about a baker i don't work with ovens well I even thought about why not just work as a dessert uh, maker because I have a sweet tooth and I enjoy making desserts 
juices, coffee, basically a barista, but with the original recipes, mostly from new culture, exchanged cultural foods and whatnot. But again, this thing has extremely, um, extremely vigorous and violent competition. If I'm looking for a more a job that has no competition in it, no life risk in it, is done from home and pays well, and I'll be my own boss, my choices are exceptionally limited. So I took my um, uh, CAT um, CAT exam, career attribution exam. I took my SAT, I took my every other um, career around and discovered that a person like me would do real well in biology and in arts, a free thinker. Basically, I was born with supposedly the talent to write, draw, enjoy music, compose songs, lyrics, and become a counselor or a therapist. So, yeah, all the jobs that I asked about and all were denied. The conclusion now is, I have lots of ambitions that I'm unsure which of them to choose, but at the same time, I have a very restrictive, controlling, excessively, um, excessively invasive environment where everyone thinks they have the right to choose for me what I should do with my career path. And then they have the audacity to ask me when will I get married. But that is a subject for another video, not this one. Sorry about taking from you around half an hour, but yeah, those are my paths in life and my ideas. Sorry about taking care from your lives almost half an hour. This is not a brief, this is very long. Regardless. Thanks all for listening and take care. Invisible, the non-existent, sign out.